Watch any Christmas movies yet? Oh, yeah. How many? Well, you got to watch Christmas Vacation, and then... Has that one been on? It's like on a loop. Oh, on yeah. what channel? Um, VH1? VH1 has it. American AMC has it. Um, yeah, TBS had it once. But like uh, I haven't seen it anywhere. Uh, I was watching your I was watching your movie and I got yelled at for it. Why? Because it's you can only watch it on Christmas Day, apparently, according to Becky. No, it's, she's very right. Which one is it? The Christmas Story. Christmas oh yeah, Day. yeah. That's a Christmas Dayer. Yeah, yeah. And that plays on a loop on TBS. You know what's oh, crazy? Yeah. Mal hasn't has never seen it. That's insane. that's insane. That should be a felony. <laughs> that's what I told her. I was like, don't tell the kids. Don't. I have Connor convinced that. Not only is Die Hard a Christmas movie, but it's an amazing Christmas movie. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> <laughs> How are the roads for you getting here? Once I got out of my subdivision, fine. Oh, God. I mean, it was snowy, but... It was the worst. I'm not meant to drive in traffic or... I need, I need uh, weather grip tires. Yeah. Yeah. Snow tires? Yeah. Because with, with where I have to drive for work, the plows don't exactly know that those roads exist. <laughs> I, last week, Thursday, I had to go to some Nowheresville, Wisconsin, and it was like 11 miles. I was on a road that I wasn't sure if it was even a road. GPS coordinates to the house I was going to was like a, you know, longitude and latitude. So it's like when you get close. By the way, we're on right now. Yeah. I'm just randomly talking yeah. just to fill dead air time. <laughs> oh, yeah, and then I found out that the guy didn't have any, and he, we, he, we couldn't do his work. So that made me extremely happy. It's like, no, we can't lift your cabin eight inches off the ground. Why not? It's your business. It's what you do. We, he didn't have a footing. So we, we, can't, it, it, we would have had to lift it in pieces. Oh. So... He's come up with a different solution, like tear it down and start over. <laughs> but, it's, but it's like you can't you can't just lift wood with no. our technology. You need to lift like an actual like it's a Lego set of houses. So you have to lift the whole thing at once, but you can't lift it in pieces. That's what he wanted us to do. It would have cost sixty thousand dollars. And the cabin was worth probably forty. Dang. So yeah, we're come up with a different solution, but but yeah, that's what we do. Seven, I witnessed a fight at my barber shop yesterday. Really? What was it about? So my barber, big Mexican guy, and his brother both cut. <clears throat> and I'm waiting. Oh, we're live. Tell you later. It was great. <laughs> what do you get when you put two Minnesotans and a guy from Wisconsin together? Twist. Twist. The Week in Sports Talk. Get ready for some sports chatter where there's sure to be laughing, arguing, and maybe even crying. Now, now here are your hosts, Mike Reeves, Matt Benz, and Greg Green Bay Bauman. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Twistmas. I was talking to you. <laughs> Damn it. Well, you know, it's obvious we have a sub in, we have a mat replacement. So we brought in because it's the Twistmas episode, we brought in Santa Claus in training. Yep. Since it's a kid friendly show, kids, this is what Santa looks like before he gets the official red jacket. Yeah, if you've seen the Santa Claus, the beard changes white yep. as soon as the jacket goes on. So you gotta have the beard, so check. Well, and as we get closer, it just gets whiter. Yeah. So I've already got my little streak. Actually, this is my brother-in-law, Nick. Nick is, unfortunately, also a Viking fan, so he's subbing in for Matt. So nothing should change on the show. Well, we'll, s we'll see if he's subbing. So we'll, we'll see how this goes. You can comment in the feed and let, let us know. We might just be trying out new co-hosts for a replacement. <laughs> this could be a permanent replacement. Right. <laughs> right. We'll see. You guys we'll, are paying for my fare driving all the way down. Yeah, we'll, we'll just see how it goes. Yeah. So, yeah, episode 77, Hanukkah Matata. It's a good one. Or Corey Stringer. Yeah, we are in the middle of Hanukkah season. We are. Yeah. And we were, like I said before the show, we were Twistmas, Merry Twistmas, 
last year, so I had to switch it up a little bit. Mm-hmm. I did. I was the only one that is festive, as yeah. you can see. So bah humbug to I'm these glad two you, grou- grouches, grumps. I'm glad you turned this. The, it was jingling or it was like flashing. It should. I do want to just. I would have started <clears> at seizures. It meshes with it, so you can see it is a necklace from the Dollar Tree. So super excited. We're going to switch. Nick's going to get out. Tevin's going to come in. And we're going to do our holiday twistmist gift exchange yes. before we kick off the show. Matt gets nothing. No. Cold. Not even cold. Or as Layla would say, cold rocks. Cold rocks. She yeah. thinks you get cold rocks. Well, whatever will deter your behavior, I guess. I Cold rocks, I wouldn't like, so. So for those of you who've uh, joined the viewership sometime within the past year, this is Tevin. Hey. <laughs> I'm the, the voice of God. <laughs> you are. All right. Greg, we grab this, it. I thought we were doing this next week or whatever because Ben's wasn't here. So We were going to do it last week. Yeah. So, All right. But whatever. Let's start with. So we'll go with my gift to Tevin. Last year, Tevin acquired a dog. So my gifts correct. were based off of that. This year, te- uh, Tevin made a new acquisition. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> Please tell me it's lingerie. Oh, it's, my goodness. So based on Tevin's new acquisition, I got him some things for trying, the house. Trying to out me in front of in front of everybody. Oh, Tevin got gosh. some uh, bath salts <laughs> 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 and some soaps. Yes. It's now, the, now the young lady will oh. feel comfortable in your, ba- in your bathroom. Yes. Oh, that's great. <laughs> All right, Tevin, now you open this one. Then you can get back to work. Okay. Do you like how I labeled it? Yeah, T money. That's yep. right. Hell yeah. And don't tell your girlfriend I referred to her as an acquisition. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's I watching. I would hope. Uh, so this yeah. is some stuff for the for the place here. Let's see. Okay. Yep. We can we can incorporate this in ourselves somehow. Oh, nice. Dartboard. Yeah. Yep. Put it out in the lobby area. Yeah. Something to do while you're waiting for your show to and come. Yeah. On. This definitely needs to get. We can probably use this for this show. No stupid people. <laughs> Put that Beyond this background. point. <laughs> right. Sorry Put that, that on the front door. I'm not sure if Ben's will get in, but nope, he won't. But <laughs> whatever. Not that, not that he shows up anyway. But well, thank you guys. Well, there you go. Merry Twistmas. Merry Thanks for all you do. I love that thank side. You guys. All right, I'm getting back to work. Yeah. Yeah. Get back there. That was cute. <laughs> Why are you taking Greg's, not mine? Jeez, how disrespectful. Got a lot of maneuvering going on here. All right, you got to do this one first. Okay. This might be the most appropriate gift ever given to anybody in the history of the world. <laughs> I've been wanting to give you this gift since December 26th of last year. Really? Yes. For those of you who know Mike, know that the one thing that Mike needs more than anything else is a selfie stick. Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's got its, it's own it, stand. And it's got a tripod. It's also got a remote. Oh. This is great. And it's so it's got a remote so you can set it up because we had that problem at Friendsgiving. Yes. So if I had to do it on the timer, this would have came in handy then. Yes. It's like a selfie stick. I'm going to text old. Derek a picture of this yes. right after. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> With a remote, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to use it today, Twist. So Nice. All right. Here, do this one now. This one goes with that one. Okay. This one's more for the kids. Ooh. Or for for you with the kids. Ooh, a motion. Oh, it's a mobile one. I was thinking about that when I saw that because you were your kids had the Christmas or the Halloween parade. Right. Now you just can kind of point the I gun just at them. Hold it. Yeah. Oh. Perfect. That's well, thank you. What you needed was more th- apparatuses t- to take things of myself, take pictures of yourself. <laughs> <laughs> well, now I just got to a- acquire, as you would say, a lady friend, and maybe I can use that uh, tripod oh, stand. <laughs> Oh, this is a family show yeah. today, Mike. For oh, what? We- Your heads went there. I didn't say anything. A Christmas movie. Oh, that's funny. All, All right, right, GBG. All right. It even says GBG on it. So our conversation this morning basically gave mine away, <laughs> but we had we, we had some major things to talk we, about. Yeah, we have some big issues dealing with that, though. 
Okay. Other side. No, no, no. Oh, okay. Made it, made it easy for you. Chocolates. Nice. What do you got? Wait a minute. There's something on the back. <laughs> so Mike and I share Mike Orders uh, YouTube TV. And what I got was a coupon for one free month of YouTube TV, which is very beneficial to my Venmo and bank account. Yeah, that's cash. <laughs> that's cash. That's right cash. There. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, that's special. And what's that? This is, oh. Yeah. I know what this is. Yes. This is a sauce holder right. for your vehicle. Right. So you can put this in your vent. No way. And then put, put a honey mustard, put a honey barbecue. Mustard and this, your whole car smells like honey mustard. It's like what, an air freshener. Well, but how many times are you sitting there and you're eating and you don't, you got your bag of food and like you're trying to find a good spot for the sauce? This is an amazing idea. Yeah. Because you know how many times I drive while eating? I know. Every day. I'm aware. This is awesome. Somebody definitely got rich off of a sauce container for a car because that is a genius. It's great. That is Imagine. awesome. It's I don't know great. How many pairs of pants I've ruined? <laughs> Well, there we go. Yeah. Merry Twistmas. Merry Merry Twistmas. All right. Now, we have a special announcement for everybody. Version 2 of the initials game oh. is back. So, without further ado, we're going to kick things off with today's initials, MC. MC. M Hold on here. C. So we just, we'll explain the game to Nick. Oop, oh. Or sorry. Go ahead, Mike. I forgot to talk to you about this before the show. It's their new one-liner for our sponsor. We will have a sponsor when we come back. We got a new one, but they're not on until next year. So Minnesota Dock and Lift. Thank you. Your Twin Cities headquarters for premium Lakeshore products. I was trying to come up with something that I was going to have you read off for next year, Tevin. Yep. And then they did a sponsored ad on Facebook with that. And how great is it? Your Twin Cities headquarters for premium Lakeshore products. So next year we'll debut that with uh, Tevin and the new one. Dope. So thank you for all that you do for Twist. All right. And during that entire thing, I was trying to think of all the MCs and I could possibly. Fuck, think. he's cheating already. <laughs> MC. MC. Well, those are two of my initials, so I'm going to crush today. Um, and, yeah, so Nick, if we're, are you familiar with the initials game? Yep. All right, so, yeah, we'll read the clues. Name is your buzzer. Name Good is luck. your buzzer, which I probably won't have to use. Right, because GBG will probably win this all right here we go first up in mc clue number one was briefly seen in tim burton's 2003 film big fish clue number two was heard in a 2008 computer animated disney movie clue number three also known as destiny clue number four once connected to a foam finger during a performance. Clue number five. Her father had a famous heart issue. And lastly, clue number six has been seen swinging. Mike. Mariah Carey. Incorrect. Fucking clue number six has been seen swinging from a wrecking ball. Greg. Miley Cyrus. I knew I oh. Damn. <laughs> there we go. G B. I could have waited two seconds. <laughs> yep. Heart, I just didn't want to. Heart Greg. issue threw me off. Yeah. Achy, achy, breaky, breaky, heart. Heart. Breaky, yep. Oh, see how. Yeah. So, That's why I suck at this game. GBG off to a quick start on version two. Clue number one. Public schools sometimes struggle with the, with its issue. Let's start this off. Okay. Clue number one. Public schools sometimes struggle with its use. Weird way to phrase it. Uh, clue number two. John McClane said this in 1988's Die Hard. You wanted to jump in oh. so quick. Clue number three. Heard frequently in a 1989 Chevy, Chevy Chase film. Greg. Merry Christmas. There you go. The theme of the, the, theme of the show, guys. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't have been easier. That's all the reason we picked these initials today. God. All right, now we're going to get interesting. Here we go. Clue number one. Gre GBG up two. Everybody else got zero. Great. Fun. <laughs> <laughs> Clue number one. Connected to enormous amounts of money in 1994. Clue number two. Once handled an arachnid. 
Clue number three. Has been seen shoplifting. Clue number four. Once watched Angels with Filthy Souls. Clue number two, or clue number five. Dated a, dated a star of that 70s show. Mike. Mila Kunis. <laughs> Incorrect. Fuck. <laughs> and I knew it hurt. She's a K. Yeah, because I think Kunis is a K. But we're... It was so damn close. <laughs> <laughs> clue number six. Why? His family accidentally left him home alone. Ah! Uh, uh, ah! <laughs> 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 Up to three. God! <laughs> I should be getting these a lot quicker than this. This is sad. I was going to say, this is... The, I should have two. This is pathetic for me. Item... What? <sighs> let's... Hold on. Let's, let's see if we can serve one up for Mike. <laughs> you already have twice. <laughs> you know what? I think this... I, Mike, I have faith that you can get All this right. One. Let's go. Here we go. Clue number one. Was once the mayor of Gotham City. Clue number two. Connected to Precious, based uh, based of the novel Push by Sapphire. Clue number three, known for emotions. Clue number four, has twins named Moroccan and Monroe. Clue number five, infamous for glitter. Mike, Mariah Carey. There. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Mike on the board with one. <laughs> when was she the mayor of Who Gotham cares? Uh, yeah, I could not tell you. Uh, the twins is what got, because I think her and Nick Cannon have twins. Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. Clue number one. Item number five. Uh, one was temporarily declared dead. Clue number two. Connected to a doctor in 1989. Clue number three is a diverse and poorly organized group. Clue number four. One of them was infamous for a tape. Mike. Motley Crue. Wow. Good wow. job. Wow. Good job. I don't call it a comeback. <laughs> <laughs> no, Ooh. I'll just sit over right. here with my zero. Yeah. Wow, I gotta I gotta put my game God. face on. Nick, you're horrible at this. Dude, I am bad. <laughs> we bad. were in practicing last night. Dude, it's, they get on the show, they people freeze up. Oh man. Uh, right, here we go. Clue number one. Has performed in a WWE ring. Clue number two. Has appeared in the movie in the movie and TV series Entourage. Nick. Matt Cena? Incorrect. That's John Cena. John Cena. That's right. His Matt's brother, his brother Matt's of Matt. 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 Yeah. <laughs> his brother. You, you, can't, you can't see him either. <laughs> <laughs> Matt Cena. <laughs> Why not? Oh. Uh, <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> Nick's out for the rest of this one. <laughs> yep. Clue number three. Square peg, round hole. <laughs> In 2000, he's probably somewhere with uh, Mila Kunis right now. <laughs> yeah. Or with a CSO. Uh, In 2017, appeared as himself on Showtime's Billions. I never said, I've always wanted to see that one. Clue number four. Connected to broadcast.com. Clue number five. Is a shark. Oh, Greg. It, Mark Cuban. Oh, there it is. Yep. There we go. GBG with four. <sighs> Mike with two. Nick is here for the first time on today's show. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and Nick has enjoyed himself. Yeah. yeah Nick's fun. having a great time. It's great. All right. Clue number one is the nickname of a WWE Hall of Fame wrestler. Clue number two, connected to Gracie Hart. Clue number three, is friendly or welcoming. Clue number four, involved an undercover agent. Clue number five, it's an award. And lastly, clue number six, Armed and Fabulous, was the sequel starring Sandra Bullock. Five, four, three, two, 
Mike. Miss Congeniality. Oh my gosh, from the cheap seats. <laughs> Mike, Paul and Miss yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wow. Oh. Three to four. Mike making it oh. in the game. Wow. <laughs> making it in the game. Wow. Okay. I almost let it go, too. I had to give myself five extra seconds. Oh. Right. I should have already won those two. Yeah. Uh, fuck. And we, we've got some comments that we'll get to after the, after the initials game. Um, yeah, we're busy. We're busy right now. Here we go. We, we, well, we will get to you, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Next up, we have clue number one. Connected to the 2004 Denzel Washington film, Man on Fire. Clue number two. Connected to a 2015 James Bond movie. Clue number three. Connected to 2018's Roma. Clue number four. Connected to artist Frida Kahlo. (laughs) (laughs) Clue number five. Connected to the 1968 Summer Olympics. And lastly, clue number six. Greg, Montreal, Canada? Incorrect. Oh, yes. Yes! Yes! Come on. Come on, Tevin. Lastly, clue number six. The capital of a country in North America. Oh, shit. Five, four, three, two, one. Mike. Three, <laughs> two, one. Nick, you have a guess? Uh, no. Not no. Doge. Doge on the board. You know it too, don't you? With Mexico City, ladies and gentlemen. I Mexico no. City is the name. You didn't know that one? I why. Well, no, I wouldn't have thought of that. Yeah. I was thinking Canada, Canada, Canada. All right. Next up, clue number one. Connected to Walt Disney. Clue number two. Have inspired theme park rides. Clue number three. Could be described as near mint, fine, good, poor, and more. Clue number four. Are a part of a universe. Clue number five. Its longtime primary creative leader was Stan Lee. Clue number six. Greg, Marvel Comics. Where's my, where's yep. my sound effect? Where's my sound effect? Uh-oh. Ding, 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 ding. Look at me. Look at me. Your money. You know what else? GBG. You're a big winner tonight. With the win. I want to leave. You're a big winner. <sighs> Starting off version two the same way that we went through right, version one. Lot. The more things change, the more they stay the same. <laughs> Although Mike, you got me nervous there. Yeah, that was. I did. Uh, I was. That uh, Motley Crue was extremely impressive. Thank you. What the hell? All right, we are moving on. And actually, let's uh, we'll flash some comments up here. Oh, okay, we got some comments. Um, let's see. Who's the hot guy in the black jersey from Mallory? Mallory. <laughs> that would be your baby in that picture, and that's your wife. Oh, <laughs> it's cheating, Mallory. Uh, Becky says that uh, they knew the, the answer first. Who's male? Yeah. I don't know. Uh, probably someone with Matt Cena. Uh, <laughs> Seth Anderson also knew one. Oh, he knew one. Good job, Seth. Awesome. And Seth also is questioning where the hell is Matt? <laughs> yep, gone again. He's in Mankato, working, working bread. Mm. And Dollar Tree is now one dollar and twenty-five cent tree now. It after, is after they hiked the price. I should have pulled my receipt out. Thanks, Mike. I'll still go. It's better than the Dollar General. Oh. Although I still think that the dif- the main difference between Dollar Tree and Five Below is Five Below is kind of like the upper class version of you know. It's like you can still save a buck, right? But it's not. But you can't go and get like. Food, laundry detergent, That's soap, true. candles. That's you can get candles. That's well, yeah, I don't know, but uh, it is. Yeah, although Dollar it's like Tree a narrower spectrum. Yeah, Dollar Tree is cool because your kids, you give them ten bucks to shovel the snow, they know exactly how many things they can get. They can get nine because they got to count yeah. the tax. <laughs> well, yeah, and it, apparently it's like, a buck twenty-five now. So, <laughs> but then you end up with a really messed up looking uh, driveway. Yeah, because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not very good. All right, but we have huh. two twist topics of the week. Topic number one, is this Mike Zimmer's last season as the Vikings head coach? 
I hate to say it, but I hope so. God, I hope so. <laughs> if I you don't have to hate to say it. If I can get one thing for Christmas, it's Zimmer gone. Yep. I, I want him gone so bad. I think they would have fired him in the season if he lost that Pittsburgh game. Yeah. Maybe oh, even yeah. the week before. Yeah. Well, I don't know what's holding him on besides a contract. It's really it. I think it's loyalty. Yeah, that's the what will- they've done for him over the years, and it's like who's who's going to take over mid season. Yeah, I think point. the call's already been made that he's done. Yeah, mm-hmm. and they're. I think right now they're looking at who they're going to bring in, and they got to bring in an offensive guy. Oh, please, absolutely. You know, so I think ideally they would want Eric Bieniemy. I don't think Eric Bieniemy is going to come here. I think that they got to get the next Matt Lafleur or. You know, Sean McVay, yeah. your next hot shot. You know, I think that if they can get Kellen Moore, that would be cool. That would be awesome. Yeah, from the from the uh, Cowboys. Yep, I'd love Kellen Moore. Yeah. I my favorite. It, we'll talk about in a different twist topic, and I think it's a better fit there. But I'd love to have him here. Yeah. So. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, go away, Zim. I, th- I think the only reason he probably has been fired too is because Spielman's probably likely gone. Yeah, as well. So if mm-hmm. Spielman fires him, then it kind of puts which I like Spielman, but at this point, it's like if I gotta lose Zimmer and then yeah, just get rid it's, of everything and yep. They both they both ran their course. Yeah. Well, what about this weird like idea scenario scenario, if you will? So there's a bunch of stuff going on with the Steelers right now. They're about to change up the house a lot. What if their head coach came over? Mike Tomlin? He's, he's got history with us. Oh, 100%. I would I would offer them a trade for Mike Tomlin. Yeah. yeah. We'll give you Kirk Cousins. I get that he's not an offensive guy, but I don't care. It's Mike Tomlin. You give, yeah. You give Kirk Cousins and your next two first-round draft picks for Mike Tomlin. If I was a Viking fan, I would do that in a second. We'll throw Ben's in with, as a cherry on top. <laughs> Matt Ben's can You're go You're going to Pittsburgh. Yeah, <laughs> Sorry, Taylor. but uh, Taylor and the dog yep. going to Pittsburgh. They got bread there, too. So right. We love you, but... Come on, Tomlin. Yeah, the team first. <laughs> team first mentality over here at Twist. All right. Topic number two. Alabama, Michigan, Georgia, and Cincinnati are all in the college football playoff. Who you got? Alabama. I feel bad that Cincinnati's got to play them first, too. Yeah. I, I think, think they would add a, a shot on the other end. Unfortunately, they, I think they set it up so that Georgia and Alabama would play each other again. Oh, of for course the they did. Match, mm-hmm. But they should have done that in the, uh, in the semis. But I'm think I think it's going to be Michigan. I would love to see Michigan. I, I would love for it to be Michigan. I think it's I think they're they're going to pull it out. I think that they they're the way they play can beat Georgia, and then they'll have to play. I Alabama. think that I think it will be Michigan Alabama. I just everybody was down on Alabama for a while, and then they face Michigan, and it's like, well, this is exactly who you thought we were. Yeah, mm-hmm. amazing. Yeah. You know, they did le- or, uh, lose Mechie, which is big. Mm-hmm. You know, their biggest receiver, but. Yeah, I just I I don't bet against them, especially when you can give Harbaugh this much time to prepare against a team that they're already, you know, they they already have a great team against. You know, they, yeah. their defense can stop that run attack. So, well, not to say, but that would be another great Vikings head coach. <laughs> well, Harbaugh, Harbaugh, yeah, Harbaugh yeah. just saying. <laughs> Yeah, I don't. I think after seeing the Urban Meyer experiment completely ah, just that's fail, true. I don't know. But Harbor was already here with Sam Fran, and it worked. Yeah, so he's at least proven yeah, it. He knows how to coach in the pros, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he doesn't kick people, <laughs> right? That we know of. <laughs> All right, and now I guess we'll have to tread lightly around this topic with GBG. But will this be the last year we see Aaron Rodgers <clears throat> in a Packer uniform? Yes, and I'm okay with it. Because I think what they should do is trade him to the Denver Broncos for three first round picks, three, <laughs> and let's bring in a defensive guy too. Let's bring in uh, Patrick Sertain. Hmm. You give me that, I'll give you. Rod- I'll drive Rodgers to Denver if you give me three first round picks and Patrick Sertain. They're not doing that. I don't think that. Uh, well, see, and that's the biggest thing is it's the Carmelo Anthony effect. Is when you trade away all of your assets to get your superstar. What does that superstar have to work with? Right. So Denver's not going to trade away any offensive players, and I don't think they should. They won't trade away, you know, any Judy or Sutton no. or Fant or yeah. their running backs. No, I get that. I get that. I just think that the Packers are going to want a defensive player and three first round picks, and they may concede for two first round picks and in like a second. They already have two pretty damn good cornerbacks. And I, I was just thinking, like, you a younger guy. Yeah. But I. 
I'd be okay with it. This ain't going to last forever. I mean, the dude they just drafted in the first round is a beast. Yeah. Stokes? Yeah. And then who's the other one that's just was hurt, was coming back? Jair Alexander? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they I got mean, their two main ones locked down. See, that's, I mean, I get it. I'd want Patrick Sertain, too. But I mean, that's the big thing about the Packers is if you ask any Packer fan who are their top five players, three of them haven't played since week four this year. Yeah. Yeah. So I once you get those guys back, I'd be okay with it. You know, this ain't going to last forever. You know, get you know it's kind of like the Bill Belichick approach: get rid of a guy a year too early versus a year too late. They won't be able to get anything for him if he ever has a subpar year. So you might as well go. Yeah, I don't. I agree. I don't think he's staying. I think he's playing loose and free, not because he knows it's going to be long term. There, I I think he just really wants to go pursue something else. Like he wants to win it here, and then go somewhere else. So uh, I think he's gone, hundred percent. And just like Brady just did, he's going to want to show that he can do it at another place too. Right. Brady's done it. Peyton Manning's done it. Yeah. Brady set the tone. Yep. Well, I think that's something over the years that we're going to see a lot from a lot of the veterans where it's just, okay, I did enough here. I'm going to go somewhere else, show that I can still do it, and then I'm going to bow out. Yep. Yeah. Like Russell Wilson's going to do the same thing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And that's just because there's turmoil. I don't look at Russell Wilson's case as the same as necessarily Tom Brady's. No. Peyton Manning, Aaron Rodgers. Yeah. You know, it's just sometimes it's the end of an era and it's time to move on. Yeah. Like Philip Rivers. Yeah. yeah. Well, Philip Rivers has 13 kids. Right. And he needs to coach him. He's coaching yeah. high school football, yeah. Yeah. Right. All right. Topic number four. If you could compare, if you compared Kirk Cousins to one person, who would it be? Um, this or, one's for Greg. This one's for me because this question actually came up on a national radio show last week, Thursday, and I was actually on it. I the was four letter. First, I was their four, I was their first guest. And here's where my logic went to. If you could compare Tom Brady to a basketball player, you would compare him to Le- LeBron James. Always in the mix, always in the mix. And if you put the right guys around him, the guys that he wants, he's going to win you a championship. Best comparison to Aaron Rodgers would be Kevin Durant. No matter who you put around him, he's going to be one of the best players in the league, and they're always in the contention. Kurt Cousins, Russell Westbrook. During the regular season, people are going to talk about MVP, always putting up extremely impressive stats. But when it comes to the playoffs, you never hear from them. What do you think? I, what, I want to know what they thought. Um, according to a certain former NFL defensive back who hosts the show, Bart Scott, his exact words were genius and the topic, that's where who he is. Okay, well, I won't, I won't go against Bart Scott. <laughs> <laughs> the funny thing is Greg called me, so I, get in the, I, I listen to ESPN only in the car. And I caught the tail end of it still. So I'm like listening to it as Greg calls. It's like, damn it, I'm trying to like listen to ESPN. And then he tells me, and it's like, oh, that makes sense because it's like the trickle down effect based on your phone call. They were still having the conversation, which yeah. is pretty cool. So, yeah, that was kind of, that was no, kind I of think neat. it's a good comparison. He did win a playoff game, though, for yeah. us. Well, what was funny was it was like, oh, I have an answer for this. And I called in and it started to ring. And if you call radio shows all the time, you just assume it's going to be a busy signal. Right. 100%. So when it started to ring, I'm like, wait, what's this sound? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. All right. The next topic we have is: Did Urban Meyer have to go, and who will replace him? And is Jacksonville still a good place for potential coaches to want to go? Did he have to go? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Exactly when he did too. Yeah. You couldn't prolong it anymore, just for the sake of Trevor Lawrence. Yeah. Your dynasty. You know. Everything else aside, all the stuff that happened in Ohio with the the girl at the bar that wasn't his wife. Kicking the the kicker, I think honestly, what was the final nail in the coffin is when Trevor Lawrence put out the tweet saying that they don't have any leadership, they don't have any. There's no structure to the organization. I think yep. that's when Shad Khan, the owner, is like, um, "Our multi-billion-dollar asset just said this. We got to get rid of that guy." Yeah, mm-hmm. I think that the perfect fill, and I don't know if they're going to do it. Because they need stability, they, they're probably going to look for someone with NFL head coaching experience. You bring in Byron Leftwich, yeah, and that's where I was going to go. And I said it before. I love Byron Leftwich. Yeah. Oh God, I want him as a Viking so bad, so bad. But yeah, it makes he's he's there. All best. you got to do is you just bring in an old former NFL head coach like Sean McVay did with the Rams yeah. and Wade Phillips as the defensive coordinator mm-hmm. to groom you 
into the you know yeah, intricacies like, of being a head coach. Yeah, make him like a defensive coordinator, right? Or something. Yeah. Assistant head coach and, and raise and him and up from there. D coordinator, yeah. but yeah, it's a great fit. Yeah, uh, he's the best player they've ever had. Yep, at their organization, other than Tony Baselli, you know. So it would be a great fit. And I think it's still an extremely attractive job. First off, it's in Florida. Yeah. No, no state tax, mm-hmm. and you have Trevor Lawrence. So yes. regardless of the season, I don't look at any of that. It's they're a horrible team. Yeah. Horrible. So it's. I mean, he showed flashes, and I think he's going to be just fine. But yeah, it's a great job offer. Mm-hmm. Not better than the well, Vikings. Not to mention, they're it's a rebuild. Yeah. Right. So once you get in there, it's yours. You, you have a great say. Yeah. So just build it where you want it. You're going to mold it. How you want to see it. All right. Very that's, good. That's all we've got for the topics today. And now we will move on to the Christmas culture happy hour. All right. I'm ready to go. Go ahead. 10 weird Christmas traditions from around the world. That is so funny. We all kind of went on the same thing. Go yeah. Ahead. Go ahead. Yep. Go ahead. <laughs> Number one, Yule Cat. So not to be approached, the Yule Cat is a monster from Icelandic folklore. The vicious cat is said to lurk about the snowy countryside and gobble anyone who hasn't received clothes to wear (laughs) before Christmas Eve. The Yule Cat. Number two, the Christmas spider. In addition to the usual decorations, Ukraine Christmas trees are also adorned with an artificial spider and web. Its origins lie in the tale of the poor woman who couldn't afford to decorate her tree. When she woke on Christmas morning, she discovered a spider had covered it in a wonderful sparkling web. Hmm, I've never heard of that one. Fermented bird Christmas dinner. In Greenland, small Arctic birds are buried in the carcass of a seal for seven months before being served on Christmas Day. Where else would you put it? Right in the carcass. Krampus. St. Nicholas's evil accomplice in Austrian tradition. Krampus is a demon-like creature that punishes bad children. He can often be found roaming the streets during the festive period, frightening the little ones. Didn't they what? make a scary movie I was called Krampus? Say they made yeah. a movie of that. I actually want to say they made two. What what country yeah. is that in? Austria. That is awesome. Yeah. They, they also had a reference. There was a reference to Krampus in the uh, the show The League, the fantasy football show that used to be on. Oh, like, great Max. show. Great show. KFC Christmas bargain buckets. Ooh. Up until the seventies, those in Japan struggled to find a whole turkey during the festive season. That's when KFC stepped in with an irresistible campaign. Now a Christmas tradition, the chain suggests customers in the country place orders up to two months in advance. So that's only in Japan, huh? Hmm. Night of the Radishes. Every December, thousands of residents in Mexico flock to the main plaza to see an exhibition of sculptures, including... Car- that's boring. That one's stupid. Let's pick one more here. <sighs> Prepare for witches. Norwegians believe that Christmas Eve coincides with the arrival of evil spirits and witches. So obviously they hit all the brooms before they go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Nick, what do you got? All right, so I got... Get up to the top. 11 of the best pop culture Christmas ornaments to add to your tree this year. Ooh. Number one, friends. The one with all the Thanksgivings ornament. So basically, it's an ornament that has a statue of Monica with the turkey on her head. Okay. I like it. Um, Next up, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. It's basically Harry Potter on some steps staring at a stone. Number three, this is my favorite, the Office Dundee Award ornament. Oh, yeah. that's Got to have that one. Our Christmas tree at our house has... Becky got as a gift the world's greatest boss, the coffee mug. Oh, yeah. In an ornament form. I've, I saw that That's this fantastic. morning and I was like, that is an I would rather, ornament. than the star on the top of the tree, have a Dundee. Yeah. If yep. they made it like that. <laughs> Just a big, like, one and a half. Yeah. That'd be great. Uh, number four, the Mandalorian, the child ornament. So basically, the Baby Yoda. Baby Yoda sitting on top of a stormtrooper's helmet. Huh. Um, number five, Super Mario ornament. He's basically flying with the cape. Oh, you can't go wrong with Mario. Uh, number six, kind of newer, but Stranger Things, Santa Things no, ornament. Can't do it. Just a straight black bulb says Santa Things. Did you ever watch Stranger Things? No. Okay. Would I like it? I think you would. My kids are into it. It's pretty decent. It, it took me a while to get into it, but now it's pretty, yeah. One day. It's one of those that you at least get to say, I watched it. 
Yeah, yeah see, yeah. but I'm not on that. I don't do that. Number seven, Star Trek Mirror Mirror Collection. Um, it's basically Spock. Nah, you can do it all down. Just out. random. I'm out. Um, number eight, Mallory Wife. You'll love this one. National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation Ornament. Um, he's holding the gigantic ball of um, Christmas lights. It's all tangled, tangled up. up. Yep. Uh, number nine, the Golden Girls Blanche. So it's just Blanche in a red dress. Nah, it's if it's if you're gonna pick Golden Girls, you got to go with Betty White. Yeah, or at least all all of them. Yeah. Um, number ten, Nightmare Before Christmas, Jack Skellington ornament. He's sitting in bed it's with great, his dog. It's a great flick. Yeah, but not number one. No, no. Yeah. Number eleven threw me for a loop. I didn't like it. Hmm. Downton Abbey. What? Nah. Right. Nah. Like, it doesn't make any sense, and it's just basically a picture of the castle. Not a fan. No. And and I don't watch that. No. I'm not my mom. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, mom. All right. I got um the best Christmas presents ideas from 2020. Okay. I want to see how they apply this year. So I got the top five from last year. Number five, Barefoot Dreams Blanket. Never heard of it. Nope. Out. Four, Apple iPods. Or AirPods. I'm sorry. AirPods. AirPods. Yeah, AirPods. they're still relevant. They're still, still relevant. Yeah, so that's a good one. Number three, I like this. Disney Plus subscription. That's the gift that keeps on giving. It is. Uh, number. Do two. you just pay for it once? That's yeah. what I was doing. And then I'm like, like, do you pay for one month and then you're you locked go. into it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or you lock them in for a year. See, that'd be a good gift. But if it's yeah. just Here's like... Here's a bill. Yeah. <laughs> I signed I did it up. under your name. <laughs> yeah. By the way, your credit sucks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, number two is the Lod- Lodge Cast Iron Skillet. This was a skillet that is like huge. <clears throat> awesome idea. Yeah, and that'd... number one, the, Ru- the Roku streaming stick. Oh yeah, so those gifts do have uh, some. They, they have some legs. Gifts that keep on giving. Yep. So there you go. Those are your popular ideas from last year. Very good. All right, we will move now on to the NFL power rankings. Okay. I keep putting my phone away. Yeah, All right, you guys are digital. All right, I'll start ten through six. Ten through six. Got the Ravens coming in at ten. Ooh. Okay. Colts at nine. Bills at eight. The Cardinals at seven. Okay. And the Cowboys at six. Okay. I, I shook the, it up this week. Yeah, I don't have the Colts in my top ten. I have the ten Titans, nine Bills, eight Ravens, seven Rams, six Cardinals. Okay. So we're going from what number? Ten, ten to six. Ten to six. Ten Buffalo Bills. Nine Chargers. Eight Colts. Seven Cowboys and six with the Rams. So Colts two are in. I didn't have uh, LA in. Yeah, neither did I. And I did this Thursday afternoon. I wanted to get it in before the game. Oh, okay. Yeah. I did mine Friday, so yeah. I knew the outcome, which is why I had the Chiefs at five. Okay. Rams at four. Pa- <laughs> Patriots at three. Bucks at two. Yep. The pack at one. It's a Christmas miracle. <laughs> oh, I knew you'd love that. Over. I knew you'd love that. I have the Cowboys at five, Bucks at four, Chiefs at three, Patriots at two, and Go Pack Go at yep. number one. Go figure. Yeah. Yep. Uh, I got uh, Patriots at five, Chiefs at four, Cardinals at three. Tampa Bay at two, and I'll give it to Greg. Wow, consensus one. number one. Yeah, this this year though, it's like if you the best chances of you staying in the power rankings in the top spot is to either have a bye week yep. or yep. have everyone else lose because it's not so much you're the best team; it's just that the other teams just look worse. Well, I didn't watch the game at all. But I'm looking because we're in fantasy, and yeah. it's like 0-0 zero, zero forever. I'm like, God, that game's boring. Next thing I know, it's like, when did it end? 75 total points, 45-30? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, well, it was right after that It's right after that jack wagon did the, did the belt over Aaron Rodgers. He oh, went four yeah. touchdown passes and 400 yards passing after that. Yeah. You don't do that. Yeah, people need to stop taunting Aaron Rodgers. Yes, right. Don't, never that's the worst well. idea ever. Don't tug on Superman's cape. Well, there you go. There's our power rankings. 
All right, and now we're bringing back the bracket segment for the Christmas comedy bracket. That's this one should be fun. No, this is handwritten. This I I went along you and like, made I made the yeah, bracket. This is okay. this is from scratch. From okay. scratch. All right. First up, we have Office Christmas Party Ooh, good versus one. Christmas with the Cranks. Office, Office Christmas, Christmas Office Party. Christmas. That is a damn good. That's movie. a good movie. Anything with Jason Bateman's funny. Yeah. All mm-hmm. right. We've got National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. That's the winner. Versus <laughs> The Night Before. Yeah. Yeah. Night Christmas Before National is a cool Lampoon. movie, but um, yeah, it's crushed. National Lampoon's like a classic. Right. Uh, Home Alone versus The Santa Claus. <sighs> Home, Home Alone. Alone. Yeah. That's tough. And that one, I just go by who came first. Yeah. Because I feel like they're equal. Mm. Santa Claus and see Santa Claus, the Santa Claus... It's more of a Christmas like, movie. This, those sequels were funnier than the than the Home Alone sequels. Yes, oh. I'll agree there. Mm-hmm. Uh, then we got Elf versus Deck the Halls. Elf. 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 Although Deck the Halls is funny. Yep. Yeah. All right. Moving on to the other side, we have a Medea Christmas versus Fred Claus. Sorry, Tevin. Yeah, sorry, Tevin. Fred Claus. Fred Claus is I mean, funny. I can't stand Tyler Perry. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone else is like, why did they just apologize? Because he's black. <laughs> right. As you could see 20 no, minutes ago. Medea, not, not a fan. No. Uh, eight Crazy Nights versus Four Christmases. Eight Crazy Nights. I'd like Four Christmases. Yeah, Four Christmases for me, too. Yeah. I didn't. I'll go anything for Adam Sandler. Oh, yeah. Uh, next up, we have Bad Santa versus Harold and Kumar Christmas. Bad, Bad Santa. Santa. Uh, Jingle All the Way versus Scrooged. Jingle All the Way. I'll say Scrooged. Bill Murray. I'd say Jingle All the Way. I love Jingle All the Way, but Bill Murray's good. Yeah. I lost. All right. Now, moving back over to finish out the other side of the bracket, we have Office Christmas Party versus National Lampoon. National Lampoons. National Lampoon. Yeah. All right, Home Alone versus Elf. 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 Oh my gosh. What? Elf is not that great. Oh. I just ah. watched it. Hilarious. I watched it last night for the first time in like forever, and I was like, this is. It's so I good. Can't do it. Um, we have Fred Claus versus Four Christmases. Fred, Fred Claus. Claus. All right, Bad Santa versus Jingle All the Way. Bad, Bad Santa. Santa. And then to go to the finals, for, uh, Fred Claus versus Bad Santa. Bad, Bad Santa. Santa. And then Lampoon versus Elf. National Lampoon. Lampoons. And Lampoon versus Bad Santa. National yeah. Lampoons. Yeah. Yep. Honestly, I shouldn't even have put them in there. Yeah, it should be like... Should have been place. Elf versus Bad Santa. It's, it's kind of like when Playboy used to do their rankings of the best party schools. They wouldn't put the Wisconsin schools in because it just They'd wouldn't won. be fair. Right. So, yeah, it would just be like you could just label it the National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation Bracket. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You read the articles in that movie? <laughs> I, just, I just remember being in college and they're like, really? Yeah. Yeah. Or how, like, I remember when I was in high school, it was uh, the University of St. Thomas allegedly was ranked, like, the hottest campus for girls in the country. It was, it was crazy. I remember that. Hmm. I remember going around. But anyway, we'll move on to GBG's NFL pick em Oh, been waiting, oh. been waiting for this. Good thing you got a pen because we're going to need that next, too. So here's what we got. After last week, now remember, the loser has to do a food challenge picked by the winners. Right. And we have we have some we, we have some very much uncertainty in both those spots. Let's Oof. go. Shit. Right now, in first place after 14 weeks, Tevin we have a tie. Behind. Damn. Ooh. Matt and Mike are wow. tied at 39, 30, and one. Still at the top. Unfortunately, in last place, very close. I am only one game ahead of Tevin. I'm 35, 34, and one, and Tevin is 34, 32, and one, or 34. 30, so we got five games on you? 39 and 34? Four, four games. Four games? You. Yeah. Okay. So, I already so have, Matt, in, oh Matt, Matt made a huge comeback. He's, although, for those of you, this is for entertainment purposes only. <laughs> Last week, Matt cleaned up online betting. Oh, yeah, he did. He, yeah, he, he had a 12 team teaser. Yep. Thousand bucks. Hit, uh, wow. Yeah. Good for you, Benzie. Yeah. yeah. Um, so here's what we got. Game number one. <clears throat> Colts minus two and a half over the Patriots. Matt went with the Patriots. I will take the Colts. I'll take the Colts too. I'll take the Patriots. 
Ooh, Tevin's playing playing there's, a little. Yep. Dance. There's there's my there's my game. That's the Patriots are gonna crush the Colts. I don't think so. I think the Colts have a good enough game plan to to do it. Titans we'll over the Steelers. That is an even. That is a pick 'em. Oh, Titans. Mm. Mike goes with the Titans. Matt yeah. went with the Steelers. Tevin. Yeah, I'm gonna go Titans. Tevin's going Titans, and I will go. I'll go Titans too. I can't do it. 49ers versus the Falcons. 49ers are nine and a half point favorites. Oh, no, Falcons for sure. Tevin's going Falcons. Matt went Falcons. I'm going 49ers. There we go. Two I games. can't let that much separation on Matt, so I'll go Falcons. That'd be three games just this. Yeah. Now we have Packers versus the Ravens. Packers are five and a half point favorite. It's pretty obvious. I'll take the pack. Matt went with the pack. I'm going to take the pack, too. Lamar might not even play. Yeah. I was going to say he's questionable right now. Yep. Yeah, foot injury, right? Ankle? Yep. yep. I think it's ankle. Tevin? Uh, yeah, I'm going Packers. I just love it when you guys all pick the Packers. <laughs> Vikings, five and a half point favorites over the Bears. Matt went with the Bears. And if Matt, Matt, if you uh, don't want me to disclose your picks beforehand, show up to the damn show. I'm going to take the Vikes. Mike is taking the Vikings. Five and a half. Five and a half versus the Bears. Mm. I'm taking the Vikings. I. You got to go the Bears then, I guess, Devin. Yeah, but I don't know that. Because knowing the Vikings, it'll be a close game. We're, it'll be a field goal game, so I'm going to go Bears. But the Vikings will still win. Well, it's like almost every game has been a field goal game for right. us this year. Yeah. All right, there we go. We're getting there. We're getting there. It's crunch time. I can't decide if I want to lose just pen. to do the eating challenge or pen. come back and win. Yeah, it is. That is the funniest thing about this eating challenge is Matt and I pretty much already decided that even if we don't lose, we'll still do the challenge. You can shuffle those around here. All right, now we have our fantasy football playoffs accent bet. All right, so here's what we're doing. So, Nick, you're going to be drafting for Ben's. It's three weeks. The next three weeks, we're drafting three players, quarterback, running back, wide receiver. There are no matchups. The lowest scorer loses. And the bet? An accent for the whole show. So whether that's Tevin. If Tevin loses, that's very minimal. Yeah. So next up, fantasy playoff accent bet. Yeah, And no. then he's out. I'm going to change my accent. It's like... Blimey. me. So you, All right. I feel like you put that one too far for me. So I'll take that one. I'm three. I'm four. I'm two. Two. Tevin. Seven justice. Tevin. Seven Sweet justice. <laughs> All right. Um, so we're taking quarterback, running back, wide receiver. receiver. Yep. Mm. Snake. I get to go twice in a row. I think that... I'm going to take Aaron Rodgers. Damn it. Yes. <laughs> yes, Tevin. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Wait, should we start it next week? Because you can't take Pat Mahomes. Yeah, or... you can. You can take him. You just take his points. All right. Uh, okay. So Tevin took uh, A-Rodge. Aaron, yep. Beloved 12. Okay. And you two, you got two? Yep. Okay. Um, Take a kicker for Ben's. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to go with Kyler Murray. I'll go Mahomes. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that 29.6. Okay, then here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go Justin Herbert, and then I'm taking Travis Kelsey. Okay. Mm. Oh, we no tight end. There's no tight end. I can't. Okay, we're not classifying. No, the same. no. Okay, then I'll go. Um, so you're taking Herbie. Herbie, and then I'll take my Wisconsin boy. Take my running back. Yeah, Jonathan Taylor. You bastard. Okay. Well. Then I will take Tyreek Hill. Where are we going? You got a running back and a wide receiver. Running back and a wide receiver. Uh, Mike Evans on wide receiver. Okay. 
Benzie likes Evans. Uh, am I up? Yep. yep. You got. You're finishing it off here. Running back, wide receiver. All right. We're gonna go with Dalvin Cook for we're running back. Okay. We'll hope that he stays healthy. And for receiver, let me go with DeAndre Hopkins. He's out for He's the out rest of the year. year. What? Oh, fuck. I've not been paying attention. Let's go Mike Evans then. He, already, he, he just, just got picked. I, just, I, just, I, just I, picked just, I was looking at running backs. Um, we're, no, give me Diggs. Stephon Diggs. All right, Diggs. There you go. Running back for you. Austin Eckler. Okay. So grabbing some points. Eckler, why is my thing not working here? You need a running back? Yep. I'm going to take... Hmm... It's unfortunate that all you got to do is not lose this because you guys just fell right into me with this thing. Right. Because I'll take Chubb. Ooh. You guys last pick and you guys left Cooper Cup laying out there. Yeah. I'll take Cooper Cup. That's fine. <laughs> I'll take the best wide receiver in all of football this year. I wanted Tyree Kill to go with Mahomes, and I'm already at 49 points. Oh. Week one. So. Yep. That's the advantage of doing that. All right. Very good. All right. From fantasy football, we move along to fantasy basketball. Ooh, fantasy a... basketball. So the loser, za Losers. Run a 5K. So 3.2 miles out, they will get dropped off from the studio, and they'll have to run back. And then we do the show. And then we do the show. Before the show. Ooh. So two weeks we had. So we were six weeks in. I was 6-0. and oh. Benz was 2-4. and four. GBG was 2-4. and four. Tevin was 2-4. and four. Week seven, I faced Tevin, smacked him around to go to 7 and 0 and clinch a championship berth. I'm definitely running. Tevin, two and five. <laughs> GBG lost to Benz to go to two and five and Benz to three and four. GBG handed me my first loss in week eight to go to three and five. LeBron finally played. And Tevin, another loss. Yep. To Benzie, four and Four. So Ben started off 0 and 3. He's now climbed his way back to 4 and 4. We have two weeks remaining. So Tevin will need to win out yeah, you will. to have a chance. We're yeah. coming. But I'm in. Which means nothing because I was in. Yeah, you were in the, the championship football. and lost to Matt, who started 0 and 4. And By then, like 100, yeah. I lost. So that was fun. All right. So there it is. Oh. And we won't know until the new year. We're. we're we're gone till January 8th. Yes. Which might be, I might be announcing a champion then too. We'll see. I don't know how far that goes out. All right. Now we're moving on to the Christmas Would You Rather. How festive is this? <laughs> Such a festive show. All right. First up, Would You Rather have to loudly sing the chorus of jingle bells every time you talk every time you walk into a room for a week or have to wear a santa suit to school or work every day for a week oh santa suit santa, santa suit. suit yeah i don't want to be yelling or, yeah i don't no one likes me for sane. a week yeah yeah no no, no no and santa suits i would assume are warm yeah this time oh, of year yeah. that would be comfortable that'd be great yeah. i think the best part is my job i go to people's houses so i can oh. show up in Santa suit. Yeah. Santa suit. Then they're going to expect presents. Very that's welcoming. Gonna, that's gonna that's a very you. welcoming present look. present is me. <laughs> Santa. Uh, <laughs> would, you, would you rather make presents for your family instead of buying them or make ornaments for your Christmas tree instead of buying them? Ornaments. Ornaments. ornaments 100%. I feel like it's easier. Yeah. Because yeah. I can't make anything, no. and that would be just a big slap in the face of the people yeah. I love. <laughs> Here's a pile of crap that I couldn't put together. Yeah. Here's a, bunch of popsicles Here's a paper sticks. airplane. Not, but Paper airplane, throw it at him. Merry Christmas. Uh, would you rather not celebrate Christmas this year or no. not celebrate your birthday? My birthday. Birthday. 100%. I don't like Every celebrating year. my birthday anyway. Right. Nope. Uh, would you rather have mistletoe hanging in your bedroom doorway or have a large decorated Christmas tree in your bedroom doorway? Mistletoe. Mistletoe. I don't, yeah. No, I want a huge Christmas tree. In your doorway? Oh, 
No. Yeah, in your How would doorway, you get through? Exactly. Right. You got you got to climb under oh, and yeah. tunnel through. Mistletoe, you smoochies. Let's go. <laughs> would you rather have Frosty the Snowman for a friend or Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer for a friend? Frosty. Frosty. Yeah. Frosty's cool. Have you ever seen the movie? Frosty's cool, and Rudolph's kind of a little bit of a wuss. He is. He's a wuss, but that boy can fly. Yeah, he can fly, but he's also tattling on his friends. Yeah, no, he's not a playing yeah, reindeer true. games. You yeah. know what? Here's the thing: get better at reindeer games. <laughs> be, a, be a better athlete, <laughs> right? <laughs> Santa. Yeah. Uh, oh, Frosty's cool. He's got a sweet hat. Would you rather have Christmas tree tinsel for hair or have fingernails that light up like Christmas lights? Ooh, Christmas Dude, light no. fingers. Yeah. I'm gonna go with the hair. You would, yeah, but you got a lot of hair. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. No, I'm I going want... with the fingernails. Yep. All right. Would you rather be at home on Christmas and get lots of presents or go to Disneyland for Christmas but not get any presents? Home. home. Lots of presents. Home. <laughs> the funny thing about Nick is Nick actually, as a kid, grew up in San Diego and did, actually got sick of going to Disneyland. I hate <laughs> Disneyland. I hate Disneyland. I hate the San sea Diego World. Wild Animal Park, the zoo, SeaWorld. I had year passes every single year from the time I was like seven until – 19. That'd be a lot. I like San Diego. I stayed, what do they call that? The eight where all the hotels are and the two. Oh, um, oh, Seaport Village. Uh, yeah, but it's like the the exits make it like an eight. Like a figure eight. Type. Figure eight. Off the 15? Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think of what. They aren't nice hotels. Is. No. <laughs> they were no. motel eight. Is what he was they were motels. <laughs> Uh, would it was you, a sub subdivision. Yeah. <laughs> would you rather eat your cereal with eggnog instead of milk, or eat a candy cane sandwich? Eggnog. Eggnog with milk. H- candy cane sandwich. Sign me up. I don't want to eat that's candy a, cane that's, with bread. That's a lot of crunch, is, though. That could hurt. Eggnog is true. Eggnog is one of the greatest inventions in the history of mankind. No, eggnog is gross. I'll go with Tevin. I'm having the sandwich. It's it would be difficult to eat, but it's better than. Mustering through eggnog oh. with every bite, mm. yuck! Mm. And the people that make their own homemade eggnog, serial killers. No, yes, hundred percent. I don't trust myself enough to do that. Hundred <laughs> percent. Oh, it's my own I, natural yeah. kind. I check. <laughs> I would. I would it'd be like, Greg decided to make eggnog. Greg then de- died the next day. From yeah. Salmonella. Yep. Uh, would you rather live in a giant gingerbread house or ride on the Polar Express? I want a gingerbread house. Gingerbread house. No, I, I don't want to live in it. So I'll I'll take the train. Uh, no, that if I be... could just like spend a night in a gingerbread house and like wake up, get hungry, and just crack the door and eat it. Yeah, like, no. But what I don't want to live in it. That's full time. What happens when it rains? It gets soggy and falls on you. And yeah, that's a good point. I'm gonna I'm gonna change my vote yeah. or my guess and go with the Polar Express. Would you rather be allowed to only eat fruitcake for two days, or only or be allowed to only eat candy canes for two days? Candy canes. Candy canes. Yes. Fruit cake. Fruitcake's yeah. disgusting. Yeah. I don't, think I've ever, that should be I don't even think I've ever had fruit cake. Because it's not quality Why would you? Fruit. It's not cake. Yeah, yeah it's, it's not quality fruit either. It's like garbage cake. It's like I mean, garbage like food. It's like apricots. Yeah. 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 With dense bread. Yeah, no thanks. Yeah. Uh, would you rather write a five-paragraph par- a five essay about the meaning of Christmas or solve a page of Christmas-themed math problems? Uh, Christmas-themed math problems. N- math problems. No. Hell no. Give me the essay. That's yes. so easy. About what? The Christmas spirit? Yes. I'll write it right now. (laughs) (laughs) Math? I'll I'll, I'll do the math. That's the exact opposite of Christmas. No, because if I have to to tell a story, it's going to get critiqued. How come you didn't include this? I'd rather get critiqued. (laughs) That's like literally 20 sentences about Christmas? Yeah. Let's fucking Love, family, Jesus, Santa. Uh, (laughs) Would you rather have a nose that glows red like Rudolph or have pointy ears like an elf? Pointy ears. pointy ears. I'll go with pointy ears like an elf. Yeah. Um, nah. I feel like it's easier to hide. Yeah. If you wanted That's to. True. Um, yeah. I think I might go with the red nose. Fuck and the, look what happened to Rudolph. Yeah. Got his ass ostracized from, he was, he from was the, right. From he was he was the leader of Santa Slay. He's the most famous. Well, sure. Tevin, your acquisition be leaving. Uh <laughs> <laughs> would you rather visit the North Pole or visit Bethlehem? Bethlehem. I'd go with Bethlehem. A lot of history there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah much warmer. I can't well. choose Santa over Jesus. Yeah. yeah that, that's essentially what you're saying. Not for so, what my yeah. end game goal is. So yeah. it's like Santa, you're all cool and stuff, but you know, I kind of want to go hang out with the big guy. Later. Right. Mm-hmm. Would you rather receive socks for Christmas or receive a dictionary for Christmas? Ooh. Socks. 
I get it anyways every year. I got a lot of socks, and I like correcting people. <laughs> I'd rather get a dictionary because it's more expensive for when I return it. <laughs> yes. I like to think it was a long time. Yeah. I'd like to, I'd like to send back this Miriam was Webster. You got dictionary. a gift receipt with that? <laughs> Jeez, or you're going to get smacked with it. One of the two. Uh, would you rather be given $100 for Christmas to buy things for yourself or be given $1,000 before Christmas to buy you, to use to buy gifts for other people? Oh, 1000 I want $1,000 to buy things for other people because mm -hmm. I would buy Becky a $500 snowblower. Yeah. <laughs> I'm more yes. than willing to use it. And then spread out the, yeah. 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 Oh, 100%. Yeah, because that saves you $1,000. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. What's would, a what's a hundred bucks? Would you rather get many small presents for Christmas or get one big present for Christmas? This is a this is a big thing that we do with the kids all the time. You always got to figure out because the money's got to eat you know even out. But right. you want one big one. I'd rather have one big one. I'd like the little ones. The little one the, the little ones tell me this person put a lot of effort into it. Like I treated myself to the the new Xbox last year. Good, yeah, that's right. And people are still out there not able to get them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I paid 200 bucks over cost, bought it off Facebook Marketplace from a guy, brand new. Best decision of my life. There you go. Best, life. Best me, decision best. of my life. By the way, Mike has, <laughs> way, Mike has three <laughs> kids. <laughs> on that one, man. It came out of my mouth, and I immediately <laughs> regretted it. It was a damn good deal. <laughs> good can, decision. Can, not the best. Shit. Kinley, Parker, Layla, ear muff it for me. <laughs> Oh man! Oh uh, no! I remember, like as a kid, my sister would always like count the number of presents and be like, "Well, why did I get less than so?" And my mom would be like, "Okay, here we're going to read. Get the receipts out. Here's the math. Let's break it down." Right. For you. Um, all right. Would you rather have a job wrapping presents at the mall? Anything or other than that. Have a job taking pictures of children sitting on Santa's lap at the mall. I'll do the pictures. Because yeah. that's at least entertaining. And I cannot rap. You guys saw that. As you can see, yeah, too. I can't rap. I'm horrible. I actually purposely rap gifts myself because then it's like no one will like accuse Becky of doing my gifts because they'll be like, she would have never let that out of the house. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah and with taking the pictures, there's single moms that bring their kids. <laughs> So All about the end game. <laughs> Come on. Uh, the, well, that's I, I was thinking it about Mike when I when I thought it, but I'm like, he's not going to say that. And then I thought, well, it's Mike. Of course, he's going to say it. Right. <laughs> Everybody saw. It, remembers episode 69. <laughs> <laughs> um, though, have you guys seen the uh, viral video of the Grinch at the mall in Orlando, or the at the mall in Orlando? No. Oh, he's. Fun. Whatever they're paying him, they need to double it. Because so rather than Santa, they have, they have the a Grinch. Really? Yeah, yeah. People, I'll find a video of it and we'll pull it up. Oh, right that's later. great. Yeah. Um, but all right. Would you rather be one of Santa's elves or be one of Santa's reindeer? I want to be a reindeer. Yeah, I'd be a reindeer. I want to be an elf because I want to know what it's like being short. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for those of you who don't know, Nick is four inches taller than me. Yeah. It's making yeah. me very uncomfortable. Yay, six foot eight. I want to be a, I want to be a reindeer because there's a defined amount of reindeer. Right. You, you know, know what you are. are. There could be a million elves and we just don't know it. Yeah. But you get a name, you get your name in a song. I'm all about that. Yeah. And then you know what you you know, you know what your job is. Exactly. You know what you're you showing up to do. Yep. You got one night that you work. Yeah. You know, the elves are working oh, for wait a minute. I want to year switch that long. Now. Yeah, you could yeah, yeah, you got to work year round. I don't want to work year round. Yeah. I do that already. Greg and I, I are working it. one day yeah, here. Not only that, and but I don't want to be Rudolph. I want to be no, like I'll, Dixon. Or... Yeah, get, yeah, give me Donner. Yeah, you know, Vixen. Vixen. Yeah. I was going to say, is Dixon? A <laughs> he's new. He's new. <laughs> he's, he's the sub. <laughs> he's the sub. <laughs> it's a COVID replacement. Yeah. Uh, Vixen's out. Dixon, you're back in, bud. It's hanging out with Matt Cena. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Would you rather see the Nutcracker or dance in the Nutcracker? I'd rather. I'd rather be in it. it. I can't dance. I'm not going to sit there and watch it. I'd, I'd rather be a part of it. No oh. way. I don't think I'd look great in tights. No, you wouldn't. <laughs> All right. And then lastly, would you rather spend a day watching Christmas videos or spend a day Christmas shopping at the mall? Videos. 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 Movies or videos? It just says videos. Yeah. We'll just yeah Christmas movies all day. Either or. I don't want to be in. Amazon was people. invented to answer that question for me. Yeah, and I like going out and Christmas shopping, but I don't. I spread it out. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm not spending all day doing it. Yeah, it's yeah. horrible. Oh right, that is all we've got.
So we will go GBG's final thoughts to bring us home. All right. So uh, week before Christmas, everyone needs to celebrate life. Uh, my 91-year-old grandma passed away uh, earlier this morning. It was something that we kind of anticipated. And um, the bl- the biggest blessing that whole thing was the email chain and the texting chain from my family was all just great fun stories about her. That's all she ever wanted about life was just she wanted everyone to have fun. So my challenge to everyone this week is go out and make memories. Go out and do something fun. Tonight, Becky's going with my daughter, Olivia, to go see Pentatonix. Jealous. Which cost me an arm Seriously. and a leg. Super but, jealous. Um, my point is, create memories. Create memories with people around you, people you love. Don't worry about what's under the tree. Worry about the people that you're that are next to you, next to the tree. Create memories with them. God bless. All right, and then before we go, I did find them. Yes, I was hoping videos. so. Yes, um, I'm not sure if they're the right ones, but here we'll. This guy's fucking hilarious. <laughs> So yeah, so it's this guy, it's an Orlando resort, and he literally is just dressed like the Grinch. People come take pictures with him. I love it! Yeah, he's great. This is awesome. There's a little kid one. So, if you have a flat tire, uh, excuse our ad for tow or lock uh, your keys in Geico. The Geico's emergency road well, if you need They're not a sponsor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but if you do need car insurance, right. get it. They no free ads for Geico. Yeah. Not a big fan of Christmas, obviously, but I've become a recent fan. Sure. What other holidays sure. do you like or not like? Well, I like Thanksgiving because yeah. of the nom noms. Name uh, <laughs> some other ones. Father's Day, hate it. Mother's Day, eh. Uh, Grandparents Day, big fan, Always big a fan. Day. Yeah, well, also people think that I'm a grandpa, so I get some gifts, yeah. which is nice. Um, what else? What a, a Memorial Day for no reason at all. Just amazing. I don't know. I like it. <laughs> you know, everyone's hanging out by the pool. I can wear my speedo. <laughs> it's a fun time. Absolutely. And they will always remember this. Oh, of course. Look at that makeup oh, job, yeah. though. Just gonna go God, that's, that's like, phenomenal. That makeup is on point. This, one, this last one he did with these kids. The last one we'll show you. Yeah, I'd much rather bring the kids to see the Grinch. Yeah. Yep. Now look at you. I don't understand baby needs. What do you say? Max? Max is not here right now. Leave a message after the baby. Am I not good enough for you? I came all the way from Mount Crumpet. To come see you. And yet you're thinking about Max. Max is currently with Cindy Lou Who. She's supposed to be dog sitting while I'm here. Why? Being here. <laughs> with all these trees, are you kidding me? Have you heard of yellow snow? <laughs> what about yellow Christmas tree? I'm telling you. So what do you want? A photo or something, kid? Great. Come over here. And he can just be a dick to yeah, kids right. all right. the time. The, yeah, this is. I can't see kids crying with this guy. Right. Because they know the they know the story. Yeah. Santa's like, oh god, here's the big guy. <laughs> yes. Block your face. <laughs> their kids Wendy and Peter from Peter Pan. Yeah. We like Disney. <laughs> a talking rat makes a movie. A can of empty hoo-hash. Showroom. It's fine. I digress. Wendy, Andy, do me a favor. 
scram. That means move it. That table. But yeah, so that is the Grinch videos. They're amazing. That's awesome. Well, have a Merry Christmas. Have a Happy New Year. We'll see you in 2022. Dima Cash will end the year for us. Thank you, Twist Nation. Episode 77. It's a wrap. Twist Nation. We talking sports with a twist. No script. No script. Legends coming through on the guest list. Let's get it. TC Minnesota land of the lakes. Boo Green Bay. That's all I got to say. Yelling skull with the woes. You know we don't play. We get wild every single day. We got our flaws, but we love our saints. Twist Nation. Twist Nation. Going like our pain.